there are a lot of different ways to bullhead fish. Uh, so many different methods are out there, but the most popular method is actually putting on a piece of live bait, or a night crawler, or even a, a chunk of hot dog, and actually just casting it out there with a heavy sinker and letting it sit. And the way we do that is once I get it all rigged up, I put my bait on, I cast it out, I'm actually gonna lean it up against a forked stick or a bucket and leave my rod alone. I'm not even gonna touch it. Before we get to that though, I wanna show you a very basic way to rig up. One of the most common ways to do it and again, you want a nice heavy sinker, so I use at least a half ounce sinker. And I like to use casting sinkers so they slide. And I have a couple parts on my rig. First is my hook. So I use a nice uh, size six or size eight hook with an extra long shaft. And that makes it a little bit easier to take it out of the bullhead's mouth once I catch it. And then I use about a foot and a half to two foot leader. I tie that onto a barrel swivel. And then above my barrel swivel, I put one bead, and then I put my half ounce casting sinker. And what the bead does is allows that casting sinker to slide up to it, but without going over my barrel swivel. Once I'm all rigged up, I'm ready to put on my bait, cast it out there, and try to get a fish. For bait today, we're gonna to be using night crawlers. Bullhead absolutely love night crawlers. So take a nice big night crawler, and if I was to hook it on there, I hook it on just like this. What's gonna happen is the bullhead's gonna come by, take my night crawler, and I'm not actually gonna hook it. So instead, what I wanna do is I wanna hook it on there once, twice, three times, and we'll go fourth. So what a nice big ball of night crawler, and now I'm ready to cast that out there and fish. Now that I've cast it out there, now it's time to set my rod down. And not only do I want a nice fork stick, what I wanna do is get my line nice and tight, so I wanna have tension on my rod. I wanna find my fork stick, lean it up, and then I have one extra step that I'm gonna do. And that is actually use a clothespin. So the clothespin is gonna act as a strike indicator for me. Uh, similar to how a bobber would tell me if a, if a uh, fish was to hit. A uh, bullhead can hit very lightly. Uh, and a lot of times they won't necessarily take your rod or your line and give a big tug. They're gonna just barely move it or they might even swim close to shore. So what this uh, clothesline, or clothespin is gonna do is it's gonna show me if my line's moving at all. So what I do is I take the clothespin and I hook it onto my line in between one, uh, two of the eyelets. And I'm just gonna let it hang. If that clothespin uh, shoots up all of a sudden, it means I have a fish on. Or if the clothespin suddenly goes to the ground, that means I have a fish on, but it's actually swimming towards me because they don't always go out. Uh, once I see that happen, what I'm gonna do is take off the clothespin very gently, go over to the rod, set the hook, reel it in and see what it is. You might catch other members of the catfish family as well. So in my left hand, I have a, a bullhead that we caught earlier today. And in my right hand, I actually have a channel catfish that we just caught. So it's a smaller one, looks about the same size as a bullhead, and at first glance might actually look like a bullhead. Uh, one of the main characteristics that's gonna help me tell them apart is I'm gonna be looking at the tails. Uh, and you'll see on, I'm trying to do this with two, cat, two, uh, two catfish in my hand, uh, but on the bullhead, you see it's got a very flat tail. On my catfish, you see it has a forked tail. And it gets a lot more prominent too as they get larger. So that's one easy way to tell the difference between them. The best time to actually go out fishing for them uh, is during the night or the evening hours, uh, which is why you'll frequently see areas like around Dead Creek and you'll see uh, lanterns along the shoreline at night. And what those are, those are bullhead anglers out there fishing. Uh, bullhead are a nocturnal species, meaning they're a lot more active during the nighttime hours. Uh, you can catch them during the day, but you have a lot more success at night. What I'm gonna show now is how to actually remove the, your hook from a bullhead once you've caught it. So the spines on the bullhead are nothing to be afraid of, but it can make people nervous when it comes to removing a hook from a bullhead for the first time. Uh, first is to make sure that you hold it uh, in the right spot. So you'll see you have the pectoral fin right here, where my finger is, and then you have the dorsal fin right there. Uh, and both of those have spines uh, that are very sharp and will hurt if you get poked by them. So what I like to do is I actually put one finger over the dorsal and behind the pectoral like this, now I have the fish really under control. 
and have a nice grip on it. And now all I'm gonna do is take this, take the hook, and pull it right out. Sometimes you actually, what you'll need to do is take a pair of pliers and help it out that way. And with any fish, if you're not gonna keep it, so a bullhead oftentimes will keep it. This one in my hand is a fairly small one, so I'm gonna let it go. With any fish, if it was to swallow your hook and you don't wanna keep it, uh, but it actually it swallowed it and you know that if you were to put your pliers in there, there's a good chance of the fish not making it. What we actually recommend is that you cut the line as close to the hook as you can and let it go with a hook in its mouth. And what it'll do is actually swim away uh, with the hook in it and it'll rust out in a month or two.